Welcome to Minutes That Matter. In this video, we will learn how to configure inter-site replication. Now, to configure inter-site replication, we need to have at least two servers. We have server 01 and server 02 as our DC and ADC. So let's power on server 01 and server 02. There are two inter-site transport protocols, one is IP and the other is SMTP. Now we'll configure IP in this inter-site replication. Now let's log in into server 01 and server 02 as administrators. I am on server 01 going for active directory sites and services from tools. Now initially it may take a minute or two but it will eventually appear. Okay, so you can see that we have a site called Hydrobat and there are three servers. One is our domain controller. The other one that is server 02 is our additional domain controller. Server 03 is our read only domain controller. Which we have seen in the previous video. Now let's create a new site. Let's call it as Pune and select the site link called IP. Okay. In the Pune site, there are no servers, but in Hyderabad site, we have three servers. So let's move server 02 from Hyderabad site to Pune site. Now you can see it is pretty easy. Now let's go for configuring the inter-site transport protocols. And in this session, we will be learning how to configure the inter-site transport protocol IP. Now, by default, replication is available 24 by 7. Let's choose a replication schedule which are non-working hours of a regular office. Now you can see that I have selected the odd hours of the day and weekends we have given replication available. And by the way, replicate every 15 minutes is the minimum time and uh, Replication interval by default is 180 minutes. For now, in this video, we will select replicate every 30 minutes. Now, once you are done with uh, setting up the replication, you can close this window or you can pull your server back into Hyderabad uh, for future labs. Thank you for watching.